Welcome to the StarCraft II Heart of the Swarm Brutal Campaign How-To Guide for Hand of Darkness. This guide assumes you've completed the Heart of the Swarm campaign on normal with all Kerrigan levels found. Please refer to the game timer when following video instructions. The Too Long Didn't Watch version of this guide is as follows. Kill the Hybrid Dominators. Rescue a Brutalisk. Kill the Hybrid Dominators. Use the Terran to help you kill the Hybrid Dominators. Kill the Hybrid Dominators and complete the level. For Kerrigan abilities, take Kinetic Blast, Psionic Shift, Automated Extractors, Mend, Malignant Creep, Fury and Drop Pods. For Swarm upgrades, it's totally up to you because you can actually complete this level without using any Zerglings or Banelings or Roaches or Hydralis or Mutalis or Swarm Hosts. At all. If you'd like to know more, then please continue to watch. Press F2 and move your entire army west towards your first target, the Hybrid Dominator. You can choose to build an economy or army, however you will see as I demonstrate in this video that all you need to do is focus on controlling Kerrigan, no other effort is required. Bring it down now. Once you have killed the Hybrid Dominator, send the rest of your army back to base, whilst moving Kerrigan north. Make use of Kerrigan's psionic shift ability to navigate the map quickly. Before going any further north to the next hybrid dominator, head west to the orange circle to release the Brutalisk from its prison. Immediately send Kerrigan north again whilst ordering the Brutalisk to attack move to your base. Pass by and ignore the Terran forces, then destroy the hybrid holding cell. Try not to kill the Terran forces as they will automatically aggro the hybrid dominator and maintain his focus once he is released. The Terran forces will in turn focus the hybrid dominator over Kerrigan, doing some helpful damage as well. There is another reason for involving the Terran forces with the Hybrid Dominator. If you target the Hybrid Dominator and look at the UI at the bottom of your screen, you will see the number of kills the Hybrid Dominator has accumulated. This information helps you to determine which Hybrid Dominator is the real one. When the Hybrid Dominator uses his separation ability, two more Hybrid Dominators will appear. Click on each one. The one with any kills is the real Hybrid Dominator, whilst the other two will always have zero kills. If the Hybrid Dominator had zero kills before using his separation ability, then pay attention to which one of the three Hybrid Dominators has a casting animation when using abilities like Psystorm for example. This should help you to find out which Hybrid Dominator you need to focus your attacks and use Kinetic Blast on. After you've killed the Hybrid Dominator at the north, head south to the next holding cell as shown in the video and release the Hybrid Dominator. Remember to use Kinetic Blast and Mend Off Cooldown. Once the Hybrid Dominator is dead, head east with Kerrigan to the next Hybrid Holding Cell. As explained earlier, use the Terran forces to your advantage with fighting the Hybrid Dominators. Try to strafe attacks so that you reduce the amount of damage that you take. Strafe attacking involves moving between attacks. So attack and move until your next attack is ready and then attack again. And repeat this process. As soon as you kill the Hybrid Dominator, move northeast to the next Hybrid Holding Cell. More of the lab has come under our control. Using the tactics that I have shown in this video, you should be able to handle the pressure of the Terran forces and deal with the Hybrid Dominator's abilities quickly and efficiently. Once you have killed this Hybrid Dominator, then move north. Once you destroy one of these hybrid holding cells, two hybrid dominators will appear. When you are able, lure both the hybrid dominators into a fight with a large Terran force beyond the ramp. This will help you to kill the hybrid dominators quicker. Once there is only one hybrid dominator with little health left fighting the Terran force, you can safely move southwest to the next hybrid holding cell to engage in combat with the last hybrid dominator. Use psionic shift to easily bypass the Terran forces and then destroy the hybrid holding cell. As you destroy the hybrid holding cell, press D to use your drop pods ability. Your drop pods ability delivers 40 primal servings, 5 primal roaches and 5 primal hydralisks with timed life to the battlefield. They do immense DPS and will help you swiftly kill this last hybrid dominator. Once you've destroyed the 8th and final hybrid dominator, the level will end. Thanks for watching this how-to guide on how to complete the StarCraft 2 Heart of the Swarm campaign Hand of Darkness level on Brutal Difficulty. Click on any of the video links to see any of the how-to guide and playthrough videos for the StarCraft 2 Heart of the Swarm Brutal campaign.